Manifestation Monday, baby. What's going on, family? Peace, love, and happiness. Spiritual Scott manifesting on Manifestation Monday in the present moment with you, you, and you. How's it going, everybody? Sending y'all positive energy. Take it, take it, take it, take it, and take it. How to manifest your life purpose. What is my purpose, Scott? I don't know. I'm I'm all caught up in these different activities like a job I'm not happy in. I'm doing things that don't serve my soul. They don't nourish my energy. They don't bring me life. I want to feel alive, Scott. How do I do this? How do I manifest that life purpose for me? Well, it starts with taking time to realize what you do like what do you want to see happen in your life and how are you gonna take steps and actions towards what you want it could start with a passion you have a passion for making videos and you have a wisdom and a knowledge in something that you can teach start by doing that start by filming a video every day or once a week start by showing the universe taking that action towards that goal that passion that you have and you'll get these different ideas you'll get more awareness on certain areas of where you want to focus on the universe will meet you halfway but you have to meet the universe it's not just going to give you everything you have to show the universe that you are serious that you are willing to put in the work not grind 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 but willing to put in effort willing to help others be of service to others that makes you happy if you're doing something that you're not happy doing why are you doing it you have that choice you create your own reality so you can create what you want to live how you want to live where you want to live what you want to happen in your life whether that be even like a book i always mention this example if you want to write a book start by reading books start by writing page down every day or just typing, practicing, doing certain things to get you closer to something that you are passionate about. And even if it doesn't have to be something you have to make money in. If you like playing basketball, go play basketball, have fun, be present with it, treat it as like a meditation sometimes, have fun with it. And that will bring you closer to a purpose in your life. Whether that be career purpose, whether that be a life purpose or a a travel purpose, a purpose in something, finding meaning, feeling that life within yourself. That is why we are here. We are all here for different reasons, for our soul's growth, for our spirit to to really feel alive, for ourselves to enjoy enjoy us being on earth today. And that is why We are here to explore, have fun, try different foods, have more purpose than just waking up, doing something you're not happy doing. Whether that be a job that you're not happy at, whether that be a relationship that doesn't serve you and that's just toxic and you don't want to be in. Take that action. Set that intention for what you want to receive out of the experience as well as what you want to see. Set those goals and show the universe, take actions and take steps towards those goals. Whether it be like even printing a business card for a business, setting up a website for a business that you wanna see come into fruition and take steps, take actions. Start doing something you're passionate about and utilize that to move forward, to create this reality that you wanna live. And when it comes to your past, use your past to catalyze and of a future that you want to live. So for example, I used to be depressed, lazy, sad, all those type of emotions that I didn't want to feel. So I catalyzed how I felt and turned it into a good moment. I realized, oh, that's not how I want to feel. But I needed that duality. I needed that hot, cold, yin, yang type of thing. Good, bad. So I can realize I want to feel good. I want to be happy all the time. And if I'm not, well, then I realize why. Maybe I have healing to do. Maybe I can use that and move forward because I don't like that feeling. But I sit with it and I let it go. I release it and then I move forward. And if you've had some type of past experience, 
like for example for me with drugs alcohol i want to help people not just get sober stay sober and help them live the best life while being sober and while helping them coaching them through a better life help them help themselves so they can create the life they want and if they want to work a career somewhere they can do that as long as you're happy doing it that's all that's that that matters you're happy you're serving your soul and you're serving somebody for a purpose you have more purpose more life within you and if you take those past experiences look at them look at them and see oh i went through this 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 for a reason it wasn't happening to me it was happening for me get out of that victim mentality and move forward transcend those limiting beliefs so you can create what you want and how you want to live your life how you want to see that happen and come into fruition and let go of the expectation let go of the outcome set those intentions set those goals take actions on those goals yet don't let the outcome or how what is happening in the moment affect you just let it go do that film that video write that book and if something happens take a break practice self-love self-worth self-acceptance and just let it go breathe in and out go in nature you need that peace every day to realize that to, to for stillness to bring your mind bring it peace bring it quietness to bring yourself in the present moment so if you go for a walk in nature you need that almost stagnant type of energy you're always moving but you need that stillness and peace so you can listen really listen to yourself really listen to the universe to show you where you're headed and what you really want what focuses you and do you see yourself doing these things next year five years ten years twenty years down the road can you see yourself doing this or something similar and living that life feeling that life within yourself in the future and would your future self thank you for doing the things you're doing in this present moment would it thank you for doing those when it comes time you're like wow i'm so glad that i did that i'm so happy that i made that decision i quit my job and i pursued a passion and look where it brought me now i have so much more life so much more excitement peace joy ecstatic bliss this is what we want this is what we're creating now especially with these energies going around on the planet in the fifth dimension we are creating what we want to create and it's instant instant manifestation this is how it's happening we're stepping into the energies we're realizing we don't have to be stuck in this mindset of poverty lack scarcity sadness depression yes we can use some of them to catalyze an awakening of some sorts to realize oh shit i have more potential than i ever thought was possible we have been brainwashed into thinking these different different uh aspects like oh you can't do this 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 that that you can't do whatever you want you can't make your own money doing whatever we've transcended these beliefs and if you want to step into that action step into it today manifest what you want to come into your reality and if that being your life purpose I, there's purpose in everything as long as you're enjoying it having passion in it you're passionate about doing what you love then so be it that's it that's it that's all there is you manifest that purpose just by being by stepping into alignment with what you know what you are passionate about and if you are uncomfortable you're stepping out of the comfort zone that's that's okay that's where you grow when you're uncomfortable you grow and then after you realize oh that is where okay i can learn from that and i can utilize it to step into more action to step into more alignment more purpose this is it this is happening you got this i believe in you this was me like all year after my awakening back in uh may march march april may that kind of area we uh i stepped into a stagnant phase i got very lazy very depressed like a dark night of a soul type thing and i wanted to do something i wanted to take action but the universe was saying you have to have this stagnant energy 
type of vibe right now so you can realize that you want to move forward. You want something better for yourself. So what do you think I did? I took that time to really go within, reflect, and then and heal, and now move forward. Take that action. Take those steps. Really clarify my vision so I can become something I've always wanted to become. I can move forward and not take steps back. Move forward, always moving with that energy. And whether I'm meditating or going in nature, I'm not stagnant and I'm not stuck still. Even though I'm still, I have stillness within, I am utilizing what I have to catalyze more expanded awareness, expanded consciousness. And this is how you can find your purpose. You can step into action through different means, through that passion, through something you love doing. With that being said, my friends, I want to hear what your passions are, what you want to achieve, especially coming into 2021. The energies that are coming, man, we got this. This is our year. This is my year. I claim it. You claim it. Claim it. Comment down below. I claim my purpose. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it, guys. Share it. That'd be awesome. If you want to subscribe, ping, ping, ping. With that being said, my friends, thank you for watching. I'm sending y'all peace, love, and happiness. Take care, my friends. Lots of love. Woo!